Right, in this tutorial we're gonna learn about external resources, meaning we're gonna play around with .cs external file and in that file we're gonna have a couple of namespaces and in those namespaces a couple of dedicated classes with specific variables and methods. So objective, external stuff, project, this, that's what you need to do and click on add class. Now, before you click on add, make sure that you, uh, you are definitely clicking here on a class, C-sharp class, okay, Vis visual C-sharp items, and down there you need to choose name for that external file. So this is what Visual Studio is offering to me, class one, but I'm gonna use something better. For example, external source, external source dot CS, and when I click add, uh, Visual Studio will populate a couple of things in external source.cs file. Now that's cool, but immediately you have same namespace like in primary uh, file where you have main section, which is excellent. Uh, and also uh, name of class default stuff corresponds to name of file. So that's excellent, right. So when we compile this thing without any kind of stuff from external source, you're gonna get like, you know what, I, what you're gonna get, like this, what is in right line, nothing special. I am from main file. Well, the question is, uh, what about stuff in external source? For example, here, we're going to create a direct method. So static if you remember we need to use static and then void because of direct operation and let's call it a external because we are in dedicated file method because this is a method this is a function in object oriented terminology we use method here for names of function but there you go anyway so here operation for simplicity reasons will be just console dot write line and something usable but I am from a eternal method. Okay, save. And what is the name? External method from external resource. So this is what we need to use in main file, which is program.cs in a main method. So external uh, source. Why this thing is happening with alignment? Okay external source and you have it in drop down which means uh, whatever is in learn cs namespace in external source will be available so that's cool awesome dot and listing uh, listing is for external method okay so let's grab this stuff external method and because this is method we must use parentheses and f5 and problem. So why this is a problem? What is a problem here? External source external method is inaccessible due to its protection level, which means we must uh, say uh, fix here availability. So let's use public, just like in our first couple of tutorials. So let's go back and F5. And there you go. But I am from external method. Why do see these lines? Oh, I don't have a read line. Console dot read line. This bugs me a lot, but F5. Okay, it's better now. Nice. So you have both of these things and because if, because we are in uh, like same namespace, you don't need to say uh, using learn CS because you are, you are already here. Okay, so it is not important because these namespaces are in different files. Still, they are like same boundary around all these dedicated source code lines, right? Uh, what about, uh, for example, specific variable? Because here we do have method. What about variable? Well, no problem. Again, public, again, static and uh, that will be integer x for example a value will be 100 and now if we use that in direct operation uh, it will be something like this so console dot right line where is that thing it is in external source okay 
copy paste right here and dot and x okay so will this work f5 and value is 100 uh, which is not that good for explanation because a uh, little bit of custom report on the left side will be nice uh, for example like uh, variable from external source and concatenation with real stuff uppercase v and there you go now we know exactly uh, what is happening okay what about dedicated methods in external files in this case external source can we have that well sure why not uh, but I'm not going to use namespace learn CS because it's stupid because we're learning so we need to complicate this a little bit nothing scary so namespace will be different namespace uh, let's call it a in direct for example printer and D must be uppercase to respect a, li a little bit of rules okay so in here you cannot just start rolling with the direct source code because you need to have a class so class is like some boundary inside already existing global boundary which namespace learn cs is in, in this case so in this case we're gonna say class will be i don't know direct a and now in here we're gonna have a couple of uh, methods or variables whatever so public don't forget that static certain void name will be direct uh, print a this is logical because class is direct a okay and this thing is in direct printer so let's use this like approach when naming things okay so this is a method parentheses and actual operation operation can be just simple console write line console dot write line and text will be line from direct print uh, print a method because it is from direct a class this is what we uh, will see in the primary program.cs file in the main section. Well, how we are going to call it? So direct printer is a ge generic boundary na namespace basically. So for example, here I'm going to call it with a little bit of comment explanation like stuff from external uh, source. Okay so what is the name it is direct printer this is a namespace see namespace direct printer uh, but it's used like a type that's that's cool so let's click on dot i mean type right so direct a is class if you remember and then we will have direct print a which is actually method okay so save and f5 and there you go a line from direct print a method from direct a class which is actually correct right but question is if you remove this direct printer so this is direct call basically will this line work shorter instruction well they were build errors what is concrete error the name direct a does not exist in the current context right so we must provide direct a to program.cs file how we are going to do that well a couple of ways the easiest one is uh, using for example i mean not for example but uh, concretely uh, direct printer direct printer right here and f5 and then what's gonna happen well cool stuff so this is one of the ways how to use stuff from external world but the question is okay fine but what if i uh, want to have like um, like an alias can i have that well sure for example here 
you can say this and then using uh, using what will be alias ddpa let's say ddpa equals to uh, external source just a second right no it's not external source sorry it is direct printer direct printer and we're grabbing direct a from it so down here it is just enough then to use this ddpa okay ddpa and f5 and the build errors uh, non-evocable member directly cannot be used like a method oh so this cannot be used as a method for some reason public static void right so direct printer must be alone without name of a class sorry because uh, these things here these lines are just reserved for namespaces right so this will work now if i say ddpa dot and then we are calling direct a uh, class and in that class you'll have direct print method so it's a shorter variant right so maybe this is useful for you maybe not it depends for me cleaner stuff is to use this f5 and you're gonna see results on a screen line from direct print a method from direct a class okay so that's cool but guys i'm gonna stick with uh, you know this line because i don't know somehow for me it's uh, more understandable which means that here we need to be really precise about that uh, direct print stuff so ddpa is not needed because we don't have it at the moment so direct printer is included there is no need to type it here and direct a direct print a will work f5 there you go right uh, another thing if you click please note we are in external file I mean we are using external file and uh, now we are in program.cs which is which is which is main file what i was saying right so when we click on go to implementation immediately visual studio will very precisely locate locate that thing so see uh same stuff for direct a uh find all references oh yeah that's for references just a second uh, go to implementation yeah implementation there you go immediately precise location of class or method so some people will say okay that's cool well can we have like couple of these guys again well sure just like in the first tutorial about c sharp object oriented approach remember that from last time but we're going to change a couple of things like this will be from di from direct print uh, b uh direct print b will be name of method this is a class uh custom report will be from b and from b class and the same stuff if you want to call it uh just grab this line copy paste it and switch to dedicated class and to dedicated method and now these things will will work without any kind of problems see there you go but some people will say well wait a second this is extremely dumb we do have namespace two times and we are in same file so this is stupid can we just delete this namespace like uh, second option down there well sure we can grab class direct b and just put it here as continuation so that means we don't need this and guys this will also work of course it will work it is in the same namespace okay a uh, same boundary from here to here and classes are different classes are different and methods are different so they will work because there will be no clashes okay so we are here in the main file program.cs and when we click on f5 i mean press then there you go absolutely same stuff so i'm gonna end this tutorial right here because maybe it's too much so bottom line guys is 
whatever you create in external files, those things will be inside some kind of namespace. And if that namespace is a different than default one, you must include it here uh, as a direct instruction like this, or you can use alias if you like that more. But I'm going to use this approach because when you add aliases, then maybe you're going to, to some degree, miss clarity down there. For me, it's just easy to say, okay, direct A, and I'm going to use direct print A from it because this is a class and this is a method because of parentheses. If I need more details, just right click, click go to implementation, and I'm going to immediately be in dedicated file. So, yeah, uh, that's it. I hopefully that's not confusing, but you know, programming is a serious business. You need to invest a little bit of time in it. Okay, source code will be on website soon as possible. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. See you next one. Ciao.